Howdy hey guys and girls, the Welsh Eddie here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and we've got some more DLC in the very cutesy and very awesome a little to the left. Now of course again this was developed by Max Inferno and published by Secret Mode and yes we have the second bit of DLC, Seeing Stars and it's not like the kind that you uh, you know chuck a cactus on your head and you've got the cut you got like the cartoon stars ringing around your head when you bump it. No, no, we are just seeing more puzzles with some stars in them and some other stuff. Anyway, this DLC is around six pounds, about seven bucks, something like that. So uh, again, that's uh, not a bad price for 37 levels. A couple of miscellaneous achievements, again, as always. And just like the main game, obviously a lot of these uh, puzzles you will be able to do just by the picture solution, which once again, yours truly has uh, put a lot of effort and time into just putting all the picture solutions up. If you, uh, I will come in with some explanations for some certain uh, explanations of some certain puzzles. That's what I'm trying to say. Other than that, though, again, it's pretty straightforward now. Uh, so we'll just crack on with it. So obviously, as you can see, once we click the sea and stars again, it's going to be about six bucks. We need a hundred um, stars as well. So we're going to need a hundred stars there. Uh, so basically getting every solution in the whole of the dulk. So once we begin, obviously, just like the last time or just like in the main game, I will put the level and I will put the solutions of how many solutions are there that are in the level. And I will keep everything up for around 20 seconds or so, uh, which should give you enough time to at least pause it, copy it, and then uh, crack on. And then what will happen then? It'll go... Doop. Level one, solution two out of three. Ha! Huh, how handy is that? It's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of these are just as easy as sort of putting one on top of the uh, one on top of each other or um, just putting stuff in certain spaces. But it is pretty darn simple, hopefully, to follow.
So that was an awesome job there shuffling your balls about. Now, this one um, is not too bad. We're going to get our first miscellaneous achievement here. Basically, just take all of the Tetrisy ice cubes out. And uh, you'll get the, I'll take my water neat, like a Marge Simpson potato. Okay, not like that. But uh, yeah, so just take them all out and you'll get the, I'll take my potato neat achievement. And then what you have to do then is, especially with the last solution... Um, you you do have to put these Tetris pieces in a certain position. So um, so hopefully it's it's in a decent enough position. So obviously for this first solution here, you just need to put like the blackberries or blueberries in the left cup, the leaves in the other, and the other leaves in the other. Um, but with the other two solutions, they're going to be pictured. So obviously just uh, uh, just look at it and follow them carefully. Okay, congratulations. Right, another, <clears throat> excuse me, miscellaneous achievement coming up. For one, get those devil mushrooms off my bloody pizza. Mushrooms belong in the bin. And also, to get the top heavy slice achievement, literally just put every single topping that you can find onto one piece, and you should get that achievement. If it doesn't unlock, it, it probably means that one, it's counting one slice over on, uh, one topping over onto the other slice of pizza, so just try and fit them all in to one as you can. Uh, so when that unlocks anyway, to get this first solution out of the way, all you got to do is take every single topping back off, and that's the first solution done.
So with uh, the with level 14 here, note that you can actually pick up the cactuses and you can move the pots around as well. So just a quick fair warning for you. And another fair warning for you. Now, if you're looking at this, wondering how the hell does he do that? With some items on here, um, you can actually click in a button at the top of the whatever it is. And usually that'll spring out. That'll go back in. Um, so especially for this first solution and for the next solution, as you'll be able to see, especially with the uh, half circle, I forget what it's called at the top there. You actually need to press a button in order to get that one flapped out and job done did.
Okay, so for this one, if you're having any trouble, now what I tended to do, you've got to do the colours in the same position, but have a look at like the little bumps, the little dots on the side of the book. Uh, that was the easiest way for me, uh, anyway, to figure this one out. Uh, so if you are having any troubles or whatever, because of course you're going to have to stack them up, but the easiest thing, like I said, I found was look at the bumps on the left-hand side and then go and put the books uh, exactly where you need them. And for this last solution then, so basically what it is, uh, is you need to put two light books down and then a dark book, two light books, then a dark book, and then just keep going until you get the dark book there at the end. Again, have a look at the bumps and dots on the side if you are uh, needing something to actually go off. And then we can just go into this one and get another miscellaneous achievement while we're here. So uh, grab the lollipop off the side. Now you can see these uh, couple of bits of sweets or candy, uh, you just need to put them on the lollipop. You'll find two there, and if you close the drawer, <coughs> excuse me, you will find another two. So there's Unos, and there's Tunos. Come here, douche. There we go. So put them all on the, uh, on the lollipop, and then that should get you the sticky wand achievement. I'm gonna be honest, when I first uh, heard the word sticky one, my mind totally went elsewhere. But, uh, you know, Harry Potter death and stuff. <laughs> mm. Okay, now we're going on to another miscellaneous achievement here. Um, now, what we have to do then, basically, there's characters that look right, uh, the characters' faces that look right, left, and straight on. So what we need to do is any character, including animals, whoever it is, that you, that, you're f that you see is facing to the left, you need to put them in the left bottom box. Anyone that is looking straight ahead, or directly at us, the consumer, the customer, you need to put them in the middle box and anyone who is facing to the right. Again, focus primarily on their faces. If they're facing to the right, put them in the right box and that'll get you the what you're looking at achievement.
So, after you got that big cat algae out of hiding, we're going to get another miscellaneous achievement now. Just press the button on the pocket knife once, or the box knife, click the wrong end, i.e. the stabby end, and that'll get you the grab the wrong end achievement. Uh, yes, pretty sharp, so if you can, try not to do that in real life, okay? It hurts. And then just crack on as normal and solution it up. Oh, like this. So this is another puzzle here where you actually have to um, open up some of the, like the comb, um, the springy thing at the top there, you actually have to open them up. So just be aware of that. And we're coming up to another miscellaneous achievement now. This one is a lot more... Uh, miscellaneous a bit, bit more harder to, to figure out so we need to do with this silver counter button here you need to click it until it reaches the number eight so as long as it reaches the number eight that's fine then you can go and put it in its position which is just here at the top left sort of and then uh, just crack on with the solution uh, it does take a little bit of time here but once it is done as long as that silver counter is still on number eight um finishing the solution will get you the achievement keeping count it's a hidden number of sorts of kind of sorts. So with this one, it's not too bad, but um, there are six little hearts and where you need to pit, put those little hearts are in the robot with the heart chest. So you actually need to click on his chest to open it up and then put the hearts in. And then if uh, sometimes you may need to move the robot's legs, again, that's usually with a tap at the top of the head. Okay, right, so now we're coming up to a bit of a long puzzle, uh, but it's not too bad, it's, it's generally quite easy, um, but we are going to be getting another achievement right here, right now. So effectively, all we need to do is put all the white pieces um, in the middle, and then just put basically put all the coloured ones outside. So if we just follow along, this will get us the Dead End Boss Gems achievement.
and then once we reset it then so we'll do this properly but then there's a whole bunch of sort of other tiny little puzzles which are very easy enough to follow anyway um but this is going to take about, ugh, about six and a half minutes or so
God damn you, cat! You suck! Anyway, that's gonna break, so, uh, you know, chuck it in, chuck the star back in, and then put it right back in the middle to get that star out of the kitten's paws. Pause for thought. That will actually be the end of the main game once you've done 32 levels, but there are still a couple left to do, so we'll get the achievement here for shooting star, for getting your gun out and shooting at a star. Pure American style. Um, just kidding, America. You know I love you. And anyway, once you get back into the main menu after the credits, you can then unlock the rest. If you go into, obviously, seeing stars DLC and come out all the way to the end, you can then unlock the majority, just except for the last one for now. Uh, so again, we'll click on the bread one, which is going to be level 33, and then just solution it up as always. And again, with the cupcake one here, you can move the candles, the cakes, and the cupcake wrapping, wrapper as well. So just be aware, if something is not working, it's probably because you put the cupcake in the wrong um, cupcake wrapper. So, uh, you know, be aware. But anyway, this next one was just a giant pain in the douche. Uh, purely because my eyes with colours, not that good. But there are three solutions again to this. So, um, and then what, what you will actually see. <clears throat> so we will be doing it in terms of colour first. So basically from sort of black to white there on the top. And then from like red to yellow or whatever it is on the bottom. This bit's easy. And then... The next solution will be to do with the squiggly lines in the middle of the pens. And then the third, if you can look, if you carefully look on the lids, um, they have uh, different size pens and stuff, so different pen nubs. So we'll be doing that for the third solution.
So we finally come to the finale, to the ending, to the spiritual guidance of finishedness. Uh, but this is the last easy level. Basically, all you got to do is click on nine different things as we go along. That'll get the uh, cats out of hiding. And then with that, we will get the nine lives achievement for completing the bonus finale and full orbit for finding all 100 solutions. And then that should be all 10 out of 10 achievements for that one. So I will just leave it here. So uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I uh, do hope you enjoyed the DLC and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. A uh, big shout-out, as always, to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so much again. I'll see you in the next one. Big love!